Good evening ladies and gentlemen, Scott from the Lady Supplies. How are you this evening? Um, okay, as number three in our shotgun maintenance series, um, we're going to go through the choke tubes, just maintaining them and looking after them. And basically that just comes down to, to cleaning and lubrication. So it's quite easy, um, but it does need to be done. What people might not be aware of is if you're shooting in the heavy rain, um, and that happens a lot in New Zealand. Um, it just seems to be the way it works. It will actually suck moisture between the barrel lining and the choke tube and it sucks it down into the thread and it's a very fine thread sitting against steel and if it's left there wet, it will rust and it's a fine thread it becomes very difficult to get out. Okay, so we're going to just go through that. At the moment we have a Beretta 686 Silver Pigeon Sporting here. I'm checking the gun is nice and safe. I'm going to put it on safe because I've got to turn it upside down. So first and foremost, we've been out on a rainy day. I recommend taking the choke tube out. It should be nipped up. It shouldn't be done up like a gorilla. But it should be, not, it should be firmly tight. You don't want it coming loose on you. Um, so put your choke key in and you wind it out. Okay, pull your choke tube out. Um, I would normally recommend a piece of paper towel around my finger and I would get, get it in there and dry that thread out as far as you can. Get your finger down there with some paper towel on it. And at that point, you also need to clean the choke tube. The choke tube will have soot and moisture and dirt on it. Again, um, paper towels, a bit of 4 by 2 cloth, often handy for this. Sometimes if it's really bad, you might want to spray them with um, some basic gun cleaner to let it soften the cake and soot. You clean that up so that exterior of the choke is lovely and clean. And I prefer a light grease on the, on the externals of the choke. And I'll just put a little tiny drop there like that. I'll, I'll let my cameraman zoom in. It's not a lot and spread it on with your finger particularly on the, on the threaded area but right the way around the choke um, and reinstall the choke ready for another day shooting um, this uh, principle is the same if you have one of the more modern side by sides of chokes doesn't matter this is just choke tube maintenance if you have a fixed choke gun, you don't have this, this, this little job to do, but it is something that is required to be done, and you need to do it, obviously, to both tubes. It doesn't take long, but it's a must in our rainy conditions. Okay, I nipped it up. That's done. And we're going to pretend for the cameraman that I'm going to do the other one, but choke tube maintenance is a must. It reloads supplies. We don't sell tents. We don't sell fishing rods. We sell guns and shit that goes bang. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.